Ibiza is really where you want to be at at least a couple of times you know, in the season. The size of the island, it has the best clubs, without a shadow of a doubt, in the world, in this tiny place. Um, you know, it's got the weather, it's got the sunshine, it's got the, the vibe, slightly old sort of hippie vibe initially, and then you know, it's just the sort of place where you can come. You can chill out, you can find the beaches, you can go to the restaurants, or you can go crazy and party all night. It's, it's geared up for, for whatever you want to do. It's got everything. People are out here, they've, got, they've left everything behind. They're here for a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever. There's a lot going on, there's a lot of talent over here, a lot of good promotion teams, a lot of great clubs, and so it's, you know, it's like a Saturday night every night, it's, 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 it's a big release. And, and with that comes, comes a special vibe that, that I think Ibiza has. away from home, you know. I mean, look, look where we are, we're just sitting on the, on the edge of a cliff on a beautiful day looking out at the sea. You just, you know, where I live, you just, you, you don't get that, you know, you do learn to appreciate it. I mean, first couple of times I came here, I, I didn't even see the sea, you know, I was in the bedroom sleeping all day and going out all night. And so, when you actually find out about, a bit about the island and what it has to offer, then I suppose you do, you know, you, you appreciate coming, coming away and coming to beautiful islands. Yeah, there was a couple of points. I remember sort of thinking, no, sort of 89, 90, 91, and I was just, and it's weird, because I was looking at it, I think these guys have got it sewn up, man. These like Ramplins and Groove Riders and Carl Cox and Nicky Holloway and Oakenfold and Trevor Funk, and it was just like, these guys have got it all going on, you know, these guys have got it. There's no, there's no sort of way in, and, and then I was just out doing my stuff and, and DJing and playing all over the country, just, happy to be doing it and driving up to Leeds on a Tuesday night and Sheffield on a Thursday and just you know just didn't you just wanted to be doing it and then making music I'm, I've got to say really really helped I mean that that is something as a DJ you, you know you want to pursue one good record with, with the right name you know it's in people's memories and uh, then the next one I mean you know you get on a little roll you're off and you, you know, it, it, it helps you jump that many steps on that ladder. If that does happen, you want to be prepared for it. You don't want to be making records and then suddenly get all these gigs, these DJ gigs, which happens, which happens a lot, where um, a good producer that, that's making the right records gets the DJ in the spot. And it's no good, you know, can't really mix, not, we're not really up for it because he's a producer first and um, hasn't really got the background of DJ. He's become a DJ because he's been a producer. So, you know, be prepared. For, for all eventualities. I'm glad that I was lucky enough to, you know, hit it at the right time, like the right people around me, my dad. God rest his soul, um, you know, really pushed me in the right direction and when other fathers might have gone, you know, why don't you get yourself a proper job and that sort of attitude, you know, he was cool with me pursuing what I, what I loved and, you know, it's brought us here today, we're in sunny Ibiza, beautiful location and, you know, don't for one point think that, you know, I've not appreciate what, you know, what's happened and how lucky I've been to, you know, to get here and, you know, it's a great scene to be in and, uh, Long may it continue.